What is up guys, Joe Snow right here and today we're discussing about iOS 10.2 that was finally released by Apple for the general public. As you can see from here on the software update, if you navigate here, you finally get the update of the iOS 10.2 which is kind of strange, only 358 megabits on an iPhone 6. Yes, so let's see what is going on with this update. I'm going to go ahead here, sorry, and learn more. So you have the entire content of the uh, iOS 10.2. That is basically the iOS 10.2 Beta 7. If you remember, I created a couple of videos about the Beta 7. Actually, Beta 7 was the Golden Master version, which means that if you are on Beta 7, you are on the latest version and you don't need to actually update again. You are on the, um, the good version. Right, so you can see a... Um, brief introduction in, in this iOS 10.2 and you have here the TV app. Yes, if you remember here you have the videos application inside the uh, springboard and the videos application will be gone forever. So once you update to iOS 10.2, if you've been using videos application, it will transform itself into the new TV application as stated in here. So what is this application? We discussed more about this application in my previous video. You can see it down below in the description or in the card up here where we reviewed in depth the iOS 10.2 and the updates that comes with it. Then you have the emojis, over 100 new emojis including new faces, food, animals, sports and professions. So they are beauty, redesigned and so on. So you can get new emojis, you can have them directly inside the, uh, the keyboard so you can access them right away. Uh, what I what I find extremely good is the photos update, which improves the stabilization and delivers faster frame rate for the live photos, improves the accuracy of groupings of similar photos on the uh, People album, and so on. But it also adds support for raw digital cameras, which is good. Then you have the messages that adds new love and celebration full screen effects in the messages. We discussed more about this feature is on the video that I mentioned before. Then you have music, news, mail and accessibility. And then you have a couple of improvements that are important. But should you update to this iOS 10.2? Well, yes and no. Yes, if you are not concerned about jailbreak and no, if you are uh, if you're concerned about it. Why? Well, I'm gonna go ahead, open Safari and redirect it to the uh, security content of iOS 10.2. Uh, if you follow uh, look at Desco, a known iOS jailbreaker, then you probably know he stated recently that you should not update to iOS 10.2 and also that iOS 10.2 killed a couple of kernel exploits. Well, it killed more than a couple of kernel exploits there is a full page right here that is, as you can see, it goes on and on and on and on and on and on. There are a lot of exploits in here that were killed and as you can see, most of them were uh, able either for executing an application with privileged access or for leaking out uh, any other kind of information from the device, which could have been used for a jailbreak. So if you ask me, you should definitely stay on the iOS 10.1.1 for the moment. Why? Because I found there are extremely important exploits that were killed inside iOS 10.2. As you can see from here, there are a lot of them, being them on the WebKit, on the kernel, on the Springboard, on accessibility, and so on and so forth. They they kind of they kind of addressed most of the exploits that were available on the iOS 10.1.1. And as you can see in here. There are a lot of them. So why do I tell you to stay on iOS 10.1.1? Because Pangu might get to release a 10.1.1 uh, jailbreak. I had a conversation with iCrackerai device from the channel iCrackerai device. You can check it out in the description. Uh, and we talked a little bit about the uh, possibility of Pangu releasing a 10.1.1 jailbreak due to the um, security changes inside the iOS 10.2. Well. As he said and as I say, it is possible. So it's not something that you should not do. It's not something that you should uh, say, all oh, right, uh, I'm gonna update to iOS 10.2 because iOS 10.1.1 will never receive a jailbreak. That's for sure. No, it's not. It's a dynamic situation and Pangu might get to release a 10.1.1 jailbreak. Anyways, this is my view about this, uh, this situation because there are a lot of 
uh, exploits that were killed inside this um, this version. And if you remember, we discussed a little bit about jailbreaking in my previous videos. And one of the um, things we discussed was this one, a new iOS 9.3.x jailbreak from Pangu and Lucas Desco explained. Well, it isn't a jailbreak and I explained why it is not. It is actually a loader for a previously created jailbreak that was uh, the jailbreak from the summer. And I don't know why, I, I couldn't understand why Pango would spend their time into creating a new loader using a dangerous exploit, in this case Pegasus. Pegasus is an extremely dangerous exploit for iOS 9.x series and it was patched in 9.3.5, but it is extremely dangerous because once in your device, if you click on a maliciously crafted link, it can easily um, infect your phone without you even noticing it. So I don't know why Pang would create a new loader for it. It is a st it's still a useful loader. I still recommend you to watch this video to understand the things, but it's rather peculiar that Pang spent their time a little bit into creating a, um, a new loader for something that already existed instead of focusing on iOS 10.2 jailbreak, which makes me think about the fact that the jailbreak might get to be delayed a little bit. But yeah, and also you probably remember that a new jailbreak for iOS 9.3.4 32-bit devices was released called Trident and it's available as a source code on GitHub. So yeah, it's, it's rather peculiar. There's a little bit of motion inside the uh, jailbreak community lately. And um, what advice I can give you is to stay on the version you are for the moment. All right, guys, so as you can see, I am on iOS 10.2 right now on a 32-bit uh, device, it's an iPhone 5. And as you can see, despite the fact that I'm on iOS 10.2, it still has the videos application instead of the TV app. Why? Well, the TV application is only available in the United States. I changed the region, the region of my, um, my iPhone and it automatically updated and showed the videos application instead of the TV app. You can see TV app is nowhere to find in here, despite the fact that I'm running iOS 10.2. I'm going to show you, as you can see from here, gonna go back here and when checking for updates, it says 10.2. Right, so as I said, it is a good update. Actually, it fixes a lot of things that kept on bugging me out. Of course, it works flawlessly now and it has a couple of updates that should have been there since the uh, very first iteration of the iOS 10. But if you want to jailbreak, it simply isn't enough to convince me to renounce on the jailbreaking just for updating to 10.2. Well, as I said, there are a couple of messages, new functions in here with the celebration and the um, that new thing. Let me try to show you. You can see you have this uh, that little button right here. Well, you need to, to first add a person. Let me try. Right. And as you can see, you have the effect. And if you go here to screen, you can scroll and you have the new effect. You have send with love. And the latest one is celebration in here. This is one of the new effects. Right, so this is one of the things that changed. And you have the new emojis that I'm going to show you very quick. But we discussed about all the features that this iOS, this new iOS version has in my previous video, so you can go ahead and um, and watch that video to understand more about the uh, the changes, the features, and so on. So yeah, new emojis, new people, new animals, new food, and so on. You can go ahead and check them all in here, over 100 new emojis. Right, so this is it guys, this wraps up my video for the moment. It is extremely okay uh, with the new update. It still fixes a lot of bugs, makes the iOS work a little bit more faster, it works smooth, but it simply isn't enough to convince me to, to go to update to it. So if you want to jailbreak, do not update to iOS 10.2, at least not until a tool for iOS 10.2 jailbreaking is available. This is my best advice that I can give you and you can take it or not. So this is it, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, check out my other videos in the description, I uh, selected a couple that you might be interested in. Until the next time, Peace out.